Hi everyone, this is Laura for Cloud9 Crafts and in today's video I'll be making a holiday card featuring Lawn Fawn Car Critters and the Lawn Fawn Car Critters Christmas Add-on Steam Set. I am starting out by positioning my Car Critters Add-on Stencil for the Reveal Wheel on my main wheel that I die cut using the Reveal Wheel die cut set. I am going to position this stencil using masking tape and this stencil makes it really easy to perfectly position your steam so that it will line up when using the reveal wheel mechanism. I'm stamping my images using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm using stamps from the original Car Critter stamp set but then I'm also combining it with the brand new Car Critters Christmas add-on stamp set. And I really love that these two sets can be combined together. So you can combine the little bears with the reindeer from the add-on steam set. In fact, you could also combine this with the tiny gingerbread steam set because those are like the same uh, sizes of steam. So these would work really well together. So I'm steaming each image using the Memento Dexito Black ink and then I am making sure that I turned my reveal wheel the correct way up so that all of the images line up perfectly. Now that I steamed all of these, it's time to remove the masking tape and now I can start coloring these using Copic sketch markers. For the little bears, I'm using E35, E33 and E31. This is one of my favorite brown Copic color combinations. I also really like to use the other combo that I'll be using for the reindeer. So I'm always starting out with my lightest color, then the darkest shade, then the mid-tone color, and then finally I go back in with that lightest shade just to blend everything together and to add a little bit more highlight. For the reindeer, I'm using E27, E57, and E55. This is probably my go-to brown Copic marker combination, as well as the colors that I use for the bear. Next, for their faces and antlers, I'm using E53, E51, and E50. So, I don't know about you guys, but this year I really need to start earlier on my Christmas cards because every single year I just don't make enough of them because I just start too late. So now I am going to try to make at least two Christmas cards a week so that I will have enough cards to send out to my friends and family. This card came together quite quickly even though it's an interactive card but reveal wheel cards are often quite easy to make. I think that they are one of the easiest interactive card designs out there. I also really am a huge fan of the Lawn Fawn Scalloped Box card pop-up because that's quite an easy um, mechanism as well. But the Reveal Wheel card is probably my favorite of all of them. For this little snow I'm going in with BG10 and the Colorless Blender and I'm doing the same just to add some shading over there. So I really like to use that BG10 marker to do that. I am using the Reveal Wheel Square add-on and I'm going to use a little, a tiny piece of washi tape to hold down that little piece over there that will create the opening for my Reveal Wheel. So I am going to, so I just click that in and it really fits like a puzzle piece. And then I'm going to run that through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. This is a really fun, really easy die cutting machine. You just plug it in, you um, feed your plates through the machine and then the machine just does all the work for you. I also die cut a crafts banner from the fancy wavy banner die cut set from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on there using the winter wavy sentiment stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I'm using Versamark ink to do so and then I'm going to sprinkle on opaque bright white embossing powder since I want a really crisp white embossed sentiment. By the way, I prepped my cardstock using a We Are Memory Keepers powder tool and this helps um, to 
remove any static cling and to make sure that your embossed sentiment will be really nice and crisp. Now it's time to create the reveal wheel card. So I die cut this tiny little wheel and then I'm going to put a bread through the back of that wheel base. So it's really easy just like that then you will need some tiny foam squares to apply around that little brat i usually just use three of them these are from scrapbook adhesives and these are their um th this is the regular thickness they also have thinner foam square but these are the original ones and these are my favorites I want to make sure that my little bears and reindeer are lined up correctly so I'm just going to hold that little stencil in place while I line up my wheel on my white uh, reveal wheel base. So you will also have to line that up with that scored edge over there so it's really easy when you do it. So there you go now it's lined up perfectly and now you are good to go so make sure you line that up um, correctly because otherwise you'll just be left frustrated and then your reveal wheel cards won't work. I'm using the same foam squares on that white base to adhere my pattern paper. This is pattern paper from Lawn and it's the Let It Shine Petite Paper Pack. Some of these sheets come with gold foil, which is absolutely beautiful. So I use the turquoise paper or mint. Um, and then it has like these little gold foiled polka dots on there, which is just so pretty. I'm adhering my colored images using foam squares and then the lawn fawn glue tube as well. I wanted to stamp a little sentiment on there that um, tells the recipient to turn the wheel. This stamp set, uh, this stamp I mean is from the Reveal Wheel Sentiment stamp set from L'Enfant and I'm stamping it using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink because I thought that matched really well with the Desert Storm cardstock. I'm adhering my reveal wheel piece to my cart using a, um, using not ADG but I'm using foam tape from Scotch. I'm also applying some sparkle using a Spectrum Noir Clear sparkle, sparkle Pen and of course a coat of glossy accents. So there you go, that finishes up my cart. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell below so you will never miss an update. I will see you very soon. Bye bye!